So on a previous video, I did a shortcut tutorial where I showed you how to create subtitles and captions on your videos. But since I made that video, there have been some changes to Shotcut that changes how this works just slightly. And so today I'm making an update to this video and pretty much it's 99% the same with just this one little difference. Now before I get into this, I am using Shotcut version 20.11.28. And I also want to thank all of my viewers because there are a lot of people who use Shotcut and people who are just way better at it than me and so i want to thank them for finding out this issue and showing me that this actually does work just a little bit different so let's go ahead and get into this video welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com on this channel you'll learn how to be creative and i'll teach you the tools you need to create so be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this currently within shotcut there isn't a built-in subtitle feature and so what I'm going to show you here is going to be like the manual way of doing this. So it's not exactly perfect, but it is a way to do this until Shotcut does have this feature. And so this is the way that you would do it. You go ahead and right click on your track and then add a video track above that. And so basically the subtitle is going to be above your video below or your image. And all you had to do was you would go up here to open other and then you would add text. And let's just say welcome to my channel okay just make things really simple say okay now before what you would be able to do is you can simply drag this down here to your timeline and it would show up uh, but things have changed slightly okay so the slight change is where you actually choose the box that you have and that's one thing that I didn't have to worry about on the previous version as I'll show you in this video clip where before I just simply clicked in the middle and then I just dragged it down and it works just fine. Uh, but that's not how it works on this version or at least it's a little bit more precise. Let's just say that. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We we'll just say welcome to my channel. So what's different here. And as I understand it, this is something that's already been in Shotcut. But here, you actually can't just move this around and drag it down in the center. You actually have to choose the box. So you have to select the box. Then you drag it down and you see this preview image. And there it is. So that is the difference that I did not notice whenever I was using this brand new version. Because on the previous version, all I had to do was just hold it here in the middle and drag it down and it works just fine but that's the difference that is the 1% difference from the previous video uh, and just like in the previous video you can't adjust this how you like because basically what you've done is you brought down a text filter which is now a clip and within this clip you could change the length of it you could move it around uh, you could also change the properties because all it is is a clip with the text simple filter properties you change the font color the font itself, outline thickness, and you can also add a background color as well. And as you can see here, this works. And if you wanted to, you can also make copies of this as well. So you just do copy and paste. And then on this second one, you can change the text however you like. So that way it saves you some time. And as you can see here, now we have two different quote unquote subtitles that you can adjust however you need. And that is the only difference, you know, and this is something that I miss myself because I was used to using the previous version. Now, also on this video, I want to show you another way that you could actually add a subtitle and it's going to be a little bit more, I would say convoluted. You're just going to go through an additional step. But it's also another way that you could do that as well. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the second way we could add subtitles is pretty much the same as what we did before. There's just one additional step. So I've already added my video track. And now I'm going to go up here to open other. Instead of text, I'm going to choose color. And the default is transparent. So I'm going to say OK. And now you see there's nothing here. You could actually hold this with your mouse, right click, and then drag it down to your video track. And now we have our clip. 
But the thing that's missing is it doesn't have the text in there. So we're going to fix that. We're going to go ahead and select this clip, go to filters, go to the plus sign, and then type in text, and then add your text filter. And there it is. You just go ahead and put in your text. And, you know, make any formatting changes that you need. And everything else works the same. So there it is. Go ahead and add a background color, and that's it. And obviously, you definitely want to play around with this. Just try out a lot of different things. And at the same time, on my previous video, I did go through some additional steps as well. So if you did want to see that, I will leave that in the description area below. But that is it for this video. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you add subtitles or captions to your videos, please leave that in the comments area below. And hopefully in future versions of Shotcut, we will have this subtitle feature built in. And if you did want to see more of my Shotcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. If you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.